More than 100 women running for various seats in the August 9th election have been given campaign kits to boost their local popularity and win elections. Democracy Trust Fund, in partnership with the Echo Network Africa, led by Dr. Jennifer Riria, provided equipment to facilitate campaigns for women running for office. The partnership aims to promote election of women into political seats in the coming general election. On the 9th of August 2022, Kenyans should elect leaders who must be accountable. Listen to my words. They must be accountable, not anybody. We remind ourselves that no Kenyans should die or suffer loss on account of a mere general election. Once again, listen to the words. We call upon politicians to maintain peace and the rule of law. We urge Kenyans to vote peacefully and more than that, to elect women. Currently, our 12th parliament is uh, unconstitutional and I'm sure you know the processes that we have undertaken for the last five years to try and get, get the, to the two-thirds the, the threshold. However, we have not been able to do that, and therefore it is now the honors of the Kenyans and the Kenyan women and Kenyan electorates to make sure that they give us women represent, representatives, women members of parliament, women senators, women governors, and women MCAs. And we are glad that we have made a milestone within the National Assembly. We have 23 member of, members of parliament who are elected to represent single constituencies. And we are looking forward to retention of the 23 and additional uh, 20. So we are looking at 45 members of parliament who are going to be women to represent members, uh, their members within the National Assembly. Currently, we have only three senators that are elected in the National Senate and we are looking at another seven so that we can have at least ten senators represent, uh, elected in the National Assembly. 